So one of the things you uh, one of the things you have to do is to try and get the long swing length because the long swing length gives you a lot of power. How do you get long swing length? A couple things. One is take your arm up like this, high up, uh, for uh, uh, tossing the ball. You know, you uh, are actually pulling your shoulder up and you're putting your hip out, put your front hip out, and that those two things together cause the racket to drop. See that? The racket drop. The shoulders tip back. What is that good for? What that's good for is then when you swing the racket forward to ball contact, when you swing the, the racket forward to ball contact, tipping the shoulders up as you do that helps lift the racket. If I just tip my shoulders without swinging the racket, it lifts the racket. So that's a huge deal. One of the reasons that you do not want to swing your shoulders around as you come up to contact is that when you're tipping your shoulders forward, if you come up here and you're tipping your shoulders here now, you know, you're, you're pulling the racket up more to the left because your, your shoulders are tipping off this way. So you want to keep your shoulders off, you know, as you go up to contact, you want the shoulders to, to tip toward the net so that you're rising the racket towards the net, towards the ball. Uh, what else? Uh, if you bend your knees, if you bend your knees, right, that drops the racket. That extends the swing. Bending the knees extends the swing length one other way, which is that you bend your knees and you, you push, you, you extend your knees as you push your racket up to contact, you actually leave the ground. And then, of course, you leave the ground, you get a longer swing length there. You're not actually intending to jump. You're not like jumping and swinging the racket. The leaving the ground is just a result of pushing hard, extending your legs hard to push the racket toward the ball. And the result of that is that you leave the ground. 